Hello Internet! Last time I was up in Wellington I visited the excellent Busy Bees quilt shop and I picked up this piece of rainbow fabric. Of course I was going to pick up some rainbow fabric. But I actually picked it up with a plan. I didn't just pick it up because I liked the rainbow. Because when I saw it, it reminded me of the Jordan Fabrics tutorial for making a Bargello using ombre fabric. And I thought I could do something similar with this. I don't think I'm going to follow her pattern because I don't really do patterns. I prefer to just make things up as I go along. But I'm going to try and follow the same sort of technique and just see what I come up with. This could be fun. <laughs> I haven't even started and I'm already changing the technique. Donna started by cutting lots of strips but then she had to sew the ends of her strips together. I don't really want to do that so I'm going to use a tube technique. I'm going to start by sewing the two salvage edges together all the way down the fabric and then cut it which will give me loops that I can cut in different places. I don't have a plan for how I want the Bargello to look, so I'm just cutting my strips in various widths, which will hopefully give me lots of flexibility when I start laying them out. I haven't laid out all the strips yet, and they're still in loops so you can only see the top half, but I think it's looking pretty good so far. In fact, looking at it gives me an idea. That distinct line between the blue and the red makes me think of a graph. And I'm actually making this quilt for a friend who just finished their PhD, which was full of graphs. So I think I'm going to really lean into it and try and emphasise the graphiness of that line. Now that I've decided my layout, I just need to cut each strip along the fold. And now I can sew all those strips together. The really nice thing about using ombre fabric rather than doing traditional bargello is there are no seams to match. So much faster. That looks so good. I'm so pleased with it. I think it needs a border though. I quite like that fabric but I think I'm going to add an inner border just to make the centre really pop. Yep, that works really well. So, time to get it quilted. I thought about following the vertical lines of the Bargello, or even trying to stitch lines along the curve somehow, but I actually think that might ruin the effect. So, I think what I'm going to do is use an all-over design of big feathers and circles, which will add a really interesting texture without detracting from the shape of the graph. and then some smaller feathers in the outer border, but this time with a straight line filler to add some contrast. Well, that was a lot of fun to make, and I think it turned out quite well. It's, as I think I mentioned, going to be a gift for a friend of mine who just finished their PhD. And I'm going to be meeting them for lunch today, so I'm going to take it along and surprise them. I really hope they like it. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Ka kite anō, internet. Mm -hmm.